You know what you should do? You should follow me on Twitter at Bromo018. Do it now. Hello viewers and welcome back to our Glasgow Rangers Master League series for PES 2019. It is now episode 24. We are on really plowing along with it now. By far the longest series on my channel, although that isn't really hard. Um, and it's going well so far. If you get to check out episode 23 or any of the episodes previously before this one, go and check those ones out before uh, this episode so that you don't receive any spoilers and I promise you you will not be disappointed So as you can see today, we have a double header We have Valencia in the Champions League followed by uh, a home tie against Aberdeen in the uh, SPL One game to tell you about uh, in the in the meantime uh, and it was against St. Johnston So it started off really well and it came from Jordan Oib, a goal of the season contender from him with this stunning chest and volley. And then this goal for St. Johnson pretty much epitomised the day, to be fair. They get the cross in, the headers away, bounces off the post, off Fodderingham's back, and then goes in. Then St. Johnson actually go in the lead with a sucker punch. The area is crowded, but somehow we still allow this runner through and he's able to pounce and make it 2-1. Ovi Ajaria retaliates for us with this header from the corner. But that doesn't last long though, as from a free kick, Fonneringham makes this howler and then they're able to tap it in. Luckman once again finds all this space down the middle, exploits it as always and scores. Getting a bit boring scoring those goals. But then right at the death, if Fodderingham's day couldn't get any worse, yes it can. He doesn't claim that. Leaves an open goal and St. Johnson score. So that has left the league table looking something like this guys and it's a bit of pill to swallow to be fair. We dropped down to second. We've lost uh, our unbeaten record already. Uh, St. Mirren are the only team to still maintain that, thanks to their five draws out of seven games. Um, and as you can see, the goal difference. I mean, how could you be second in the table and have conceded most in the league? That is pretty insane, uh, and it's got to change somehow. Uh, and this is my response to deal with it. As you'll see, a change of tactic. We've uh, swapped the two central more midfielders to, to two defensive midfielders as well basically the one central midfielder to another defensive midfielder we've dropped back Luckman and Ibe from left wingers to and right winger to left midfield and right midfield uh, and then pushed Vitinho up to second striker so it should be a bit more of a 4-4-2 a in possession uh, and then a 4-4-1-1 or maybe a 4-5-1 out of possession uh, and it's just you know, you've got to try these things, haven't you? Because we're just not sure enough at the back, uh, and it is costing us. This is the lineup that I'm going to go with for the Valencia game. Fodderingham does keep his place. Um, no need to panic. I'm not going to uh, just not not play him because of one bad game. You know, everyone will get their their fair chances. Um, so yeah, Tavernier, Lukaku at the back as always. Katic and Suter in uh, in centre back positions. Then in defensive midfield, we've got McTominay and Koulibaly. Uh, obviously, Lookman and Ibe on either side. Matinho is a second striker, uh, just supplementing Morelos. Uh, if we have a look at their team quickly, some good players, some good names, and I'm expecting a tough, tough game. They've actually gone out of their way and signed uh, some good players. Declan Berg, Kagawa, uh, noticeably in terms of the signings. Kovacic as well. And obviously, they've got uh, Batshuayi, Rodrigo, uh, Sheryshev and Kondogbia on the bench, as well as Gabriel. Um, so, yeah, this this will be a tough game, and I have uh, no doubt about that. But they've started off poorly. Um, they're actually bottom of the group with no points, so hopefully we can keep that the same today. Um, if you have a look at that, that's pretty much it. On a side note, Nikolai Brock Madsen, his second top goal scorer, and that is absolutely disgusting. Now it's time 
to get into the game. Just to let you know, guys, this is actually Valencia Stadium, the Mestalla. Uh, I can't remember if it's part of PES 2019 legitimately or if it's part of this mod that I've downloaded. But either way, uh, looking forward to playing in it. looks quite nice. So, off we go then. Oh, good save from Fodderingham. To start off, that's the first chance of the match and it's a threatening one. I've just noticed with the uh, black kit I'm using, I forgot to change all the numbers and the Under Armour colours and everything, which is annoying. I do apologise for that. I will sort that out after this game. Oh, well won by Suter. Can he get it away? No, he can't. Doesn't react quick enough. And they can get another shot in. Fodderingham comes out to claim. Wow, they've hit the post. Referee, for some reason, has given a foul. Oh, no, it's offside. Um, Fodderingham doesn't quite get there. Thankfully, it was offside. Hits a post in the end. But uh, we're being, being warned early on. Ivy wins it, and now he can go on the break. He needs support. He's got some runners. He's got Morelos running in. And he could be through on goal here. He is. Can Morelos score for the sucker punch? Yes, he can. And it's 1-0 out of nowhere. That is our first chance of the game. And Alfredo Morelos puts it away. Jordan Oib on the break. Valencia players, the midfielders, are trying to chase him back. But they can't quite keep up with his pace. He slotted it through to Morelos, who's made that run. Timed his run really, really well. Uh, and he's just not gonna not gonna miss that, is he? From there, we back Morelos to score those kind of chances all day long, and it is a shock lead uh, at the Messiah for uh, for Rangers. It is Valencia nil, Rangers one, and that should be half time. Yeah, it is, guys. One nil so far, so good for us. We uh, we hit Valencia with a sucker punch. Uh, out of nowhere, really. It was our first chance of the game after they'd had a couple of really good opportunities. Uh, we've grown into it since then, to be fair. As you can see, we're starting to have a bit more of the ball, create a little bit more of, uh, well, a little bit more chances. And uh, it's not it's not as one way as you might have thought it would have been coming into the game. So far, the players look fresh. We'll keep it how it is. There's no need to change it. Uh, and onwards to the second half. Look, when he's going to try and find that run of Atinho. What a goal this could be. Oh, it's a great save. Really, really well worked. Lookman. Got Lukaku in space. Lukaku's going to drive it. Tumorelos saved. Can he get onto the rebound? No, he can't. Really, really unlucky. So well worked. It all started with Vatinho's close control. Uh, Lukman ends up finding the run of Lukaku. Come somewhere else. It's, it's unlucky. There's not a whole lot he can do with that, to be fair. Oh, lack of marking. On to the left, thankfully. I think it's offside. 
Yeah, but it wasn't him. In fact, I don't think that's offside, to be honest. He doesn't interfere with play, in my opinion. I'm not quite sure why they've given that. I think Valencia can feel very, very hard done by. It was poor defending from us. The marking was very lax. And we've got away with that one. We need to get a second, make Valencia pay. Because so far, it's not very comfortable just having this 1-0 lead. And now I think now may be a good time as Sheryshev comes on for Kagawa to make some changes ourselves. Just trying to get some fresh legs in here, here really. As you can see, Ibe is looking tired. So Ryan Kent's going to come on for him. Uh, and we're also going to bring on Scott Arfield for Adam Ola Luckman as well. Just to keep things fresh. Uh, keep the work rate in the team going. And hopefully we can try and see out this game. Oh, Ryan Kent losing the ball again. And once again, they can break away from it. He's not been very good since he came on. And he's given Valencia another opportunity. Suta now comes out. He's open. He's too open. Oh, no. We only need to hold out. Look at everyone. They've just heads have dropped, smacking the floor. It's Carlos Sala. And we have to be... It's been coming, to be fair. It's been coming, but... Just lax again. Koulibaly. Watch Koulibaly there. You can see he just doesn't focus. Just leaves his man just standing around. Solace his man to be marking. And that's why he gets so much space on the edge of the area. Needed the two central midfielders to step up there. Well, the two defensive midfielders. That's why we got them in. They don't. And Valencia have sucker punched us late on. And it is a really, really bitter pill to swallow there. That's probably going to be full-time. We've gone way over the stoppage line here. And yeah, it's in the end very, very disappointing for us. Just couldn't hold on to that lead defensively yet again is where our weakness lies. But there's not a whole lot I could do about that one, to be fair. I mean, I can't control all 11 players at one time. You know, whilst I'm filling in one job, I expect the, uh, the other team, the other players... Uh, to do their job, you know, they've got to fill in as defensive midfielders. He's got to fill that space. He's got to mark that man So um, very disappointing very very disappointing in the end uh, But at the end of the day Valencia did have the better chances and I you know Probably fair that they uh, got the win in the end. Let's just have a look uh, at All the other results Nothing to stand out there Um can't find, I can't actually find Man City on there. I can't see what their scoreline was, strange enough. Oh, yeah, I did. Um, so they won. They beat Nantes. So, thankfully, we're actually still in a good position. Two points clear. But, um, you know, we, we could have done with winning that, to be honest. We need to pick up as many points as possible. Maybe a point away at Valencia isn't as bad as I make it sound. But, um, but even so, you know, it's a bit of pill to swallow. And um, it's got to be said, we're on a bit of inconsistent form at the moment um, have a look at Jordan I bruise occurred while he was making the tackle looks like he'll be out until October well if it's just a bruise well it's, all, it's already October now so I presume that it's extremely minor uh, if we have a look here yeah so he's out for five days so I mean annoyingly he, miss, he actually misses two games from that but you know we go along a bit. We've now got this game against Aberdeen. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to do the team. And I'll be back with you shortly. So welcome back, guys. I've now done the team. And this is the lineup. As you can see, uh, three changes, actually, to the team that started against Valencia. Ryan Jack comes into the defensive midfield for Lasana Koulibaly. Scott Arfield comes out onto the right for the injured Jordan Ibe. And Glenn Middleton comes in for Adamola Luckman, who has just been a little bit off form recently. So uh, we're going to give Middleton a chance uh, and see what he can do. His stats are still really underwhelming. Still got a lot of improvement to do, but hopefully we've been getting these bits and pieces of game time. Uh, he'll be able to improve on that. If we have a look at the Aberdeen side, not any surprises there really, apart from maybe Gary mckay Stephen on the bench um, not playing. But apart from that, it's fairly standard. Uh, they haven't made too many transfers, that's for sure. Uh, so I know we again we look we look to win this game. We have to be expecting to win this game, uh, but we're on some dodgy form, so anything can happen. Uh, and on that note, it's time to begin. 
Oh, we can't keep hold of the ball in their, their third at the moment. As Arfield wins it, can he slip it through to Morelos? He can indeed. Oh my word, he's missed. Wow, I can't quite believe that, to be honest. You back him to score 10 times out of 10. And now Aberdeen are going to try and hit us on the break here. Tavernier catches up to right. Katic does well to win it. Morelos and Bettino teaming up here. And Morelos comes out to Middleton. He's going to cross it in. Bettino's there. What a ball that is. And Bettino can't finish either. Wow, is it going to be one of those days? What play that was on the attack. A lovely ball from Glenn Middleton. Bettino somehow can't quite put it in. Heads it away. McTominay's brilliant control from him. And away we can go. Bettino switches it to Glenn Middleton on this left-hand side. Oh, it's a nice ball to Morelos. It's a good run. Has he timed it well? He has. Morelos goes for a goal. That was a tighter angle. A bit of a harder finish. We're creating chances, but this time around, just not finishing them. And hopefully this doesn't uh, come back to bite us in the butt. Oh, wow. What an opportunity that was. It's actually hit the post. An absolute panic there as we try and get it away. Oh, Katic has been turned there. And Tavernier doesn't get to his man. And it's 1-0 Aberdeen's James Wilson. And it was coming because of the fact that we just missed so many, so many chances. Oh, it's really, really disappointing. Somebody's got to be on him there. And they've got to react quicker. Katic gets turned here. His strength is... Uh, well, it's just not enough. Uh, and Tavani doesn't get to it. Very, very disappointing, guys. Middleton, he's got that run of Lukaku and he's found him. Lukaku's going to go all the way here. No, he's not. He's going to cut back to Morelos. Oh, is it the post? Again. Second time he's hit both posts now, I think. Oh, that's the end of... The first half, wow, we've missed so many chances. 60% possession, we're really, we're a much better team here. I wonder whether it's time to bring Lyon or not. I'll give Morelos one more chance in the second half, but we can't persist with him forever at some point. Uh, we will need to change it if it stays the same. Jack gives it to Middleton, one more to Lukaku, and away we can go. He's got that power down the left-hand side. He's going to try and find the run of Morelos. It's saved from Lewis again. Lukaku's going to come into Morelos this time. Oh, it's really nice control. Can he get it? Oh, no, he's gone to Vitinho instead. Vitinho will go for goal. Oh, my word. It's just not going to happen, is it? Excuse me, I'm eating a mint. So I sound a bit weird. That's a good interception. Oh, how horrible touch from Ryan Jack. It was awful. It's time to make some subs. It's got to be minimum two here. We're really, really starting to struggle now uh, in terms of our quality. Glenn Middleton's really tired. He's going to have to come off. Morelos will come off for lie. Middleton will come off for uh, Adamola Lukman. Uh, and we'll take our field off and bring on Ryan Kent. Oh, that's really nice play indeed. Tavernier, he's going to look for the cutback. Lies there, it's a flick. Oh, another poor opportunity. And you just get the feeling that it's not going to come today. Oh, Tavernier is too slow. He's too, got no energy whatsoever. He can't catch up to that. And now it's going to cost us. This is space on the side. What a save from Fodderingham. Absolutely brilliant. But defence is just... I mean, we've committed in the end. We've gone ultra-attacking. As you can see, the bar is at its highest. Um, and as a result, the, the players just haven't got the... The fullbacks haven't got the stamina as Aberdeen try and cross this in. As we clear this, it will be full-time. And he's really, really disappointing yet again, guys. So, so frustrating. This time, we just couldn't take our chances. Defending wasn't that bad. Couldn't take our chances. You've got to rely on the quality of players like Vitinho, like Morelos. 
to uh, to score, and they've let us down there. And what can you do? And that means we're now uh, dropping further behind. Don't pay too much attention to that in the meantime. Glenn Middleton's overall gone up. He performed really well. His stamina was just the uh, the question in that game. That's why we had to take him off. We've had an offer for Jamie Murphy as well. And we might as well deal with that now at the end of this episode. He hasn't featured at all so far this season, Jamie Murphy. It's a good offer. We'll try and get a little bit more. Something like that will do. About 2.7 million, just under. And yeah, that's... That's that, guys. A real bitter episode, to be fair. Uh, trying to think of when we can... Wow. I mean, that's got to be a doubleheader at some point. But will we come back in the meantime? We'll probably come back for the Valencia game. Maybe Valencia and Dundee doubleheader, but certainly the Valencia game. And, uh, yeah, see if we can get revenge in the Champions League uh, for that, for that, well, that late equaliser against Valencia last time out. Real bit of episode to be fair guys, and as you can see, it's been like, three games since we've won, which we don't usually go through this sort of um, run of form, really. We, we usually get a win every, every well, regularly at least, so it's uh, disappointing, and hopefully we can react in the next game. But other than that guys, we're going to end the video there. Remember, if you want to get PES 2019 on PC, you can get it for up to 50% off from cdkeys.com using the affiliate links in the description down below. They've lowered the price once again, so it's back to about £26. Absolutely buzzing. If you still yet to get it, go and check that out. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel for more regular gaming content. I'm glad today that the rage was non-existent, nice and calm, despite the fact that we, we did lose in one of the games. Nice and calm, and that's, that's how I like it. Hopefully we can have a bit more of that. But on that note, guys, it's time to end there. So until next time, I've been Bromwell18, and I'll see you soon. Come on.